tonight here on EA Sports. Hi, everybody. I'm James Sabalski. What a playoff series this has been so far. Great energy both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. Blocked in traffic. Dragged along the board by Ehlers. Quick feed to Connor. That's gloved by Bennington. Listen, Jane, the shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get, and he challenges. He's set, ready to go in great position and makes the save as a result. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still looking for our first goal. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Takes a shot. Just slide to the net. The Jets get a hold of the puck along the boards. Moves around along the half wall. Comes up with the stop. Puck grab by Shifley. And that's a smart heads up play by Pareko. Oh, caught him with his head down. The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone, and that's what he was doing right there. And a smart heads up play with the bank. Turn that chance aside. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice, and make himself as big as possible. Makes the save. Good use of the body to knock him off the puck. And a stick in the lane to flex that one away. Quick pass to Pareko. Stopped by the goaltender. Velarde's won a big draw in their own end. Gains the zone from the right. Sends a pass over. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Oh, did he drop a thunderous hit there? Too much congestion blocks the shot. Along the half wall with the puck. Coughs it up on the play. St. Louis looks to break out in their own end. Kairou's got it against the boards. Lewis him with the hit. Here's a shot. Scores! And the Blues march on! This is a really smart shot from traffic, James. The recognition of the net front presence in screen, and the goalie drops to the butterfly position, really tries to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him because he can't see it. The Blues strike first here in the opening frame, a relatively early goal here in this one. Well, you can see that the team is starting to settle in, and it's typically halfway through the period when you can see who's got the legs and who doesn't, but it's been a consistent effort. Now they've got the lead. Hey, often when they get the lead, they finish the game with the lead, so that's a nice way to start the game. In close! the period left to play. We got a 1-0 game to this point. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. Unloads it! Oh, just goes off his glove and it stays out. Can't get it to go. Here we go. Quiet shot, James. What that means is the goaltender can't see it. So he's listening for it, and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. And off the face-off, they take possession. Broken up in the neutral zone by Torpchenko. He's on that one to keep it out. Lowry's moving the puck through his own zone. Here they come on the attack. 
Moves it to Barrett. Nothing doing. St. Louis gets the puck near the boards. And he slides it quickly to Torpchenko. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Schmitz taking it from his own end. And that pass is redirected. St. Louis plays the puck along the boards. The Blues have it now. And he slides it quickly to Kairou. And it's a quick pass to Walker. Centering pass. And he shoots down a great scoring chance there. From off the wall and onto a stick. The Blues have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Here's a short pass to Velarde. Drills him. And he comes up with a stop there. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. We got a tie game. Winnipeg's won the draw. They'll go to work. Just wide. Bushnevich has got the puck along the wing. Fires it into the offensive zone. DeMello's lugging the puck. Works it across to Ayafalo. Takes the pass. Denies him! Bennington's been outstanding. I mean, he gets to position to be able to make that point blank save. Boom and shot! The scores! Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh, uh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. On a deflected shot, everyone always talks about the stick positioning. How about the timing to get to the slot area as well, and the ability to just tap it down and redirect it? The Jets seize the moment and grab that all-important go-ahead goal up by one here in the back half of the first. Well, this is an earned lead, James, is that they've been first on the puck, they've been quick to it, they've dominated in terms of shots on net, and they found the back of the net. Now they can play with a different air of confidence and hopefully ride out the first and continue to hold the lead. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Niederreiter's been on fire lately. Everything he throws at the net seems to be going in. When it's working for you, you gotta be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. Thomas wins it in the offensive zone. Oh, he lays out to block it. What a warrior. St. Louis has it against the half wall. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck now. Feeds the puck over to Connor. The Blues gain possession in their own end. Tries to get it to Neighbors. Moves it quickly over to Thomas. There's a chance on the backhand. Made the stop on that play. Well, oh, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Look out, here they come on the attack. And he makes the save. Over the line they come. Turns in front. Oh, what a stop with the paddle. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Puts it on net. There's a blocker stopped by Bennington. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Sends the pass over. Hammers a shot. Oh, slick work with the glove by Bennington. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Winnipeg's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. And off the draw, they win possession. Quick pass to Kapanen. That's a solid hit. Quick feed to Hayes. Pass it up ahead. And he takes the pass. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Here's a chance. Challenge as he gets his pad on it. They are really pouring on the pressure here. Look at this, two on one. And he shuts the door. Oh, what a save! St. Louis moves the head. Puck battle along the boards. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. 
Dishes it to Morrissey. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Quick pass to Velarde. Stopped by the goaltender. Back to the point it goes. Let's one go. Big save right at the end. Winnipeg's been playing in one direction all night, and that's towards the net. And they lead here late in the first. There's the buzzer. 20 minutes in the books. Second period just around the corner. A clean sheet of ice beckons and period number two set to get underway. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Bennington's been fantastic in the game so far, James. I mean, he's the only reason his team is still in it. Shifley's got it in the corner. Tremendous stop by Bennington. Oh. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes the save. They've got numbers here. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. And he takes the feed. Winnipeg's got the puck inside the defensive zone. On the attack, they come down the right wing. The Blues get a hold of the puck. The Jets gain possession. Velarde's got it along the wing. Sends the pass in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. The Blues grab possession to the puck. Gaining momentum along the wing. Shot! You'll need more than that to beat him. Hellebuck's gonna elect to slow things down a little and get the whistle. Well, he hasn't been really busy this period, James, but he's mentally focused, makes a nice save, and holds on for the whistle. Winnipeg's been the more aggressive team offensively, and they continue to lead here in the second. St. Louis takes possession after that offensive zone faceoff. Tremendous close save by Hellebuck. Well, this save is all about the compete to find the puck. I mean, it's a battle, and you're trying to outbattle your opponent. You can see him bobbing up and break away. Oh, and he comes up with a big stop there. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We've got a 2-1 game. St. Louis with a big defensive zone faceoff. The Blues will play it in their own end. Pokes the puck away. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Sends it over to Neighbors. Tosses it to Saad. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. Saad's such a great player, James. He's got great hands and in tight skill, but just that extra move there, it's a tricky one, and he gets lost in it. Turn the side with a glove. Goaltenders work so much on their reaction time, and man, this is just a clinic right now as he flashes the glove and makes the save. Nearing the midway mark of the period, the Jets are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. The Jets will be tough to beat tonight if they continue to play the way they have been. Really active in the offensive zone. Lowry's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. St. Louis has it in their own zone. Oh, what a violent collision there. He just got railroaded in. Close face so fast and just taken down. Comes up with the block. Absolutely fearless. Six lines, come on. The Jets played along the boards. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. The Jets gain control of the puck. St. Louis plays it along the boards. Tender clean, and you hear the ping. It's just a matter of where that puck's gonna go. It doesn't come out. 
goes in. Centers are lined up, and we are ready to resume. The Blues win the draw here in the neutral zone. Moves it to Kairou. Winnipeg's got the puck. Receives the pass. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. And a solid save on the play there. On the attack along the boards. Oh, to Madison with the paddle save. Way too much congestion blocks that. That knocks him off the puck. Moves with the puck in the corner. Kicked away. Nice pad save by the goaltender. From the open ice, they gain the line. Kapanen's got it deep in the offensive end. Here's a short pass to Thomas. St. Louis plays it against the boards. Let's it go to the slot. Oh, what a stop at the club by Hellebuck. More than half the period has expired. It's all tied up. Winnipeg's won the draw. Moves it quickly over to Fulk. And that's poked away by Ehlers. St. Louis takes hold of the puck. Great defensive effort with the stick. Rocked him in the open ice. Puck scooped up by Connor. Now a quick pass to Morrissey. Back to the blue line. That's saving a few. Back in with intention. Let's go! on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. The Jets are up by one here in period number two. Uh, and these are the games you have to learn how to win. You know that this is going to be a dog fight right to the end, and it's going to be the details that make all the difference in the world. And they win that draw at center. Tries to get the puck to Sunfist. Good stand-up hit on the play. Quick feed to Appleton. Great reach with the poke check by Pareko. Tries to get the puck over to Neighbors. Gaining momentum up along the side. Takes a shot. That's good by Hellebuck. Winnipeg's message was clear coming into this one. Lots of shots on net, and they lead here in this second. The Jets start with the puck in their own end. Appleton's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. And he gets just enough to keep it out. Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. Puck picked up by Saad. Gets a piece of it and will play off. Goaltender spends so much time doing tracking exercises and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from and he makes the save. Winnipeg's been the better team tonight and they lead as a result late in the second. Kairos won the faceoff and now let's see what they can do. And a good save on the play as action continues. Hellebuck's been outstanding tonight, James. I mean, he's made the saves he's had to and really given his team an opportunity to win. You can't ask for more than that. Late goings of this period. Winnipeg's got a 3-2 lead at this point. Lowry's won it off the faceoff. Oh, wow, what a bad save by Hellebuck. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Handles the puck. St. Louis plays it along the wing. Shot is money. Taken by Schmidt. 
Hop down loose in neutral zone. The Kyrie is going to play it against the half wall. Picked up along the boards by Kaepernick. And now he moves it quickly to Letty. The Jets have it against the wall. Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. Takes the pass from the left wing. The Jets have it from their own end. Rocks him on the play. Fires it on that. Oh, what a save! He stopped it well! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Really want to look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level when you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game. You know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. Center's gliding up to the face-off toss here. The Blues take possession off the face-off. Scrum along the boards, they battle for the puck. Pellebuck's last save was absolutely incredible, James. Not only was it pure desperation and athleticism, but I'm not sure how he can stretch that far. I think he's been doing gymnastics in his off time. Winnipeg's got the puck in their own end. Shoot it. Handles the pass. There's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we've got a third period just around the corner. Sabalski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. Well, let's see what this third period can offer in what has been a score fest thus far. Slip feed. Quick pass to Thomas. Sends it in on the attack. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Moves it to Pionk. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Scooped up along the wall by Crew. The Blues will play it from the defensive zone. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. He says, let's get physical on that play. Fires it. Too much congestion in front. Made the stop on the play. Taken along the wall by Connor. Oh, and what a save as he gets that one, too. Here's a short pass to Shen. And now it's to Bushnevich. St. Louis with possession in their own zone. Puck picked up by Thomas. Now over to Pareko. Kairou's had the puck on his stick for a great portion of this game so far, James. He's creating, he's had a multi-point night, and it's not done yet. Looking to make something happen along the boards. From the place 99 made famous. And that shot scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front! Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. But your coach is preaching all the time. Take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. The Jets win possession here in the open ice. I really like the effort on this goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Goaltender's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. The Jets pick up right where they left off, and look at this, a quick goal here to go up in the third. Yeah, and that's deflating for their opponent. You can see it in the body language, and that's also a signal to them that they need to continue to press attack while they're down. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Slides it diagonally to Kapanen. The pass in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Niederreiter's got it in the offensive zone. And that carries off a body in the lane. And he turns that one aside. 
St. Louis is across the blue line. Slides the puck over to Appleton. And now it's grabbed by DeMello. The Jets carry it along the wall. The Lard has been so dangerous tonight. He's got two in the game. You know he's looking for the hand. And he denied that opportunity. Velarde's made an incredible play right there. I mean, he's stumbling. He looks like he's going to fall almost, but he's off balance, and that's the key. The puck isn't exactly where he wants it, but he still manages to find a way to get a shot off. Up along the wing. Closes the gap along the wall. St. Louis has possession of the puck. Oh, he gets hit again. Well, this is a tough enough game as it is, but if you have your head down, you are going to get land-basted over and over again. Puck moved over to Dillon. From the left side, they gain the zone. Shot! Scores! And that's three unanswered goals. And as my mama used to say, they're cooking with gas. <laughs> they're cooking with gas. And you can expect that they have put their opponents on their heels. This is a team that knows that they have worn their opponent down. Now they got to keep the pedal to the metal. Winnipeg's performance tonight still showing no signs of let up here in this third period. And they've had such an impressive performance, James. It's been dominant in all areas of the ice, and there's been no lag or no let up. The message has been clear by the coaching staff as well as everyone on the bench. Keep pushing. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Sends it in deep. The Jets take possession in the defensive end. Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. All alone! Clutch at the stop. Oh, you gotta love this stuff, James. The game within the game, and this is a one-on-one -on -one battle, and this goaltender, he knows exactly where he's at, and he wins it. Winnipeg showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. And he takes the feed. Wax it into the offensive zone. Winnipeg's got the puck in the defensive end. Moves it to Ehlers. He's got a step. Here he is in close. That's kicked away with the pad by Bennington. Winnipeg's got the puck. Puck is picked up here in the neutral ice by Shifley. Winnipeg's on the attack. Quick pass across to Dillon. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. One-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. And it's broken up with a great defensive effort there. Well, that's what you call backtracking with a purpose, James. He thought that he was alone and in the clear, and the opportunity gets taken away. And he slides it quickly to Thomas. The Jets get a hold of the puck in their own end. Gustafson's got it in the defensive end. Play is whistled dead as the puck goes up and over. All right, well, we got a breather in action. Let's check in with our own Carlin Bay at ringside. Hellebuck's impressed me tonight. He's made the saves needed to give his team the lead, and that's exactly what you want from your star goaltender. Winnipeg's got a hold of it against the wall. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Buchnevich. Nice zone entry from the right side. Hooked away in the offensive zone by Buchnevich. Hellebuck's been outstanding tonight. I mean, he has been under siege, shot after shot. A real workhorse that's been better and better as the game's gone on. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. What pressure here in the offensive end. And they'll skate it out of the zone. St. Louis has it near the wall. The Jets look to start the transition game. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Winnipeg's got a lead in this game predominantly because of that second line and the offensive production that they've had in this game. There's a lot of motion. They're playing well. They've got good speed, and I've been really impressed with their performance. The Jets have it now. Moves it quickly over to Velarde. Moves the puck along the half wall. He got all of that hit. Hayes plays it now. Quick feed to Kapanen. Score! Oh! needed something, and that clearly was something, Cheryl. That certainly was, and there's some pushback. They're going to need to bear it because they've got to get closer than within two if they want to find a way back in this game. This is exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. 
you want to create a screen and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. The Blues have to find a way to get a couple more here if they want to try to salvage this one. Taking calculated risks, James, and jumping into the attack and pressing upwards. Now, you may give up some opportunities the other way, but you got to go for it. Puck grab by Falk. Saz got him along the wing. All those boards rattled after that hit. Wow! And he's rattled as well, James. I mean, we knew that hit was coming, and then all of a sudden, boom, and he's down for the count. Lays into the body. Here's a shot. Oh, it's denied by Hedler. And he makes that save as well. My word, they really got them hit deadly here in the red zone. There's a hit on the play. Oh, there's some body contact. Makes the save. And it's taken by the team. Oh, and there's a hit on the play. And that was great all the way. Great heads up defensive play. Oh, just a great heads up play by Thomas. Champions, tremendous accomplishment here. Well, it's outstanding, isn't it? I mean, how difficult is the path to even get to the conference finals, James? You have to be healthy. You got to find a way to weather the storms. I mean, physical engagement as well. It's real success and takes a collective effort to get to this point. Up next, it's for all the marbles. Western Conference champions, the best in the West. Yeah, the Clarence Campbell Bowl. I mean, pretty miraculous to be able to get to this point and end it with a victory, but this isn't the one they want, James. Their eyes on the Stanley Cup. Thanks so much for joining us. We had a great time. Hope you did too. For all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski. Good night.